Just a quick look at my new F-150. It's a 2010 FX4. Runs on the old flex fuel. Not that I put any in it. It's a very nice truck. I tried to buy probably five different ones of these as I traded in my 05 to get this 10. And uh, I was all after this blue. I wanted another red one like my other one, that bright red, but this blue caught my eye and it took everything to get this. It's a Super Crew, which is the full four doors. Came with the steps, I didn't really want them, but by the time I went through every other demo vehicle and they ended up being used or beat up, this is finally the one that came. And uh, steps were on it, so I took it. Like I said, again, same old FX4 tags. The other one said 5.4 liter underneath there on the 05, but they don't say that on this one. I really like the XLTs instead of the FX4s. It's supposedly one step below this, but I think they look nicer. The FX4 gives you a matching molding. The line around my grill here is matching paint along with my bumpers, whereas on the XLT, those are chrome, which would match the steps, and also here, would be chrome caps instead of uh, painted. That's pretty much the difference between this and XLT and then this comes with the 36 gallon tank, the 5.4 liter, this tow package, the skid plates and a bunch of other stuff standard that I had to order to get it on the XLT. Which is another reason I went back to the FX4. It has everything I already want on it. And in trying to get it I went from cloth and moon roofs and rear view cameras and every other thing I didn't want just to finally get my truck to the luxury package which gives me this sweet leather oh Iron Maiden's on sorry guys I gotta keep that down so YouTube don't bust me Just so you know what it is it's a trooper you gotta love satellite radio what timing this thing came with a different completely looking dashboard and still somewhat the same the console has this whole I better turn that down this whole sync system I can just talk to my phone and it will call anybody I have programmed in here. It gives me uh, all kinds of info. The radio is amazing. My iPhone, Bluetooth, I can play the music right through the speakers and there's the microphone and I can talk just so quietly and people can hear me better than they hear me talking into the phone direct. <laughs> Gun nut, look at that, boxes of ammo on the floor. Not to mention a Smith & Wesson sitting there. But uh. Benchmade pen, might have to do a review on that, getting sidetracked, ADD. But this thing is sweet. 10-way power leather seats with memory. The memory can be adjusted to the key fobs. I can press unlock and it'll move to my position and my fiance can press unlock on hers and it will move like she'd never exited the vehicle. I'll give you a quick look at the back. We'll walk around for that. <clears throat> Trooper. That's one of the first Maiden songs I ever heard, by the way. Love it. And the back is freaking enormous. Got the go bag, you know how it is, hidden under a fleece. The old watch cap. My boy's seat. This thing is so huge that my buddy's 6'5", 320, and uh, he can sit in this back seat without any issue. This is the front seat all the way back. I'm almost 6'3", and I've got my feet forward, as you can see. That's straight feet forward and my ass isn't even up oh, my my rear isn't even against the seat behind me I have plenty plenty of room the uh, pull crap handles for everybody but the driver who gets the steering wheel and this thing is just a bad looking ride I tell you there's a lot of style on this truck power port in the back power port inside the center console which is locking